in the year 170 at night in his tent on the front lines of the war in Germania, Marcus Aurelius, the emperor of the Roman Empire, sat down to write, or perhaps it was before dawn at the palace in Rome, or he stole a few seconds to himself during the games, ignoring the carnage on the floor of the Colosseum below. The exact location is not important. What matters is that this man, known today as the last of the five good emperors, sat down to write. Not to an audience for publication, but to himself, for himself. And what he wrote is undoubtedly one of history's most effective formulas for overcoming every negative situation we may encounter in life. A formula for thriving, not just in spite of whatever happens, but because of it. At that moment, he wrote only a paragraph. Only a little of it was original. Almost every thought could, in some form or another, be found in the writings of his mentors and idols. But in a scant 85 words, Marcus Aurelius so clearly defined and articulated a timeless idea that he eclipses the great names of those who came before him. It is more than enough for us. Quote, Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions. Because we can accommodate and adapt, the mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. And then he concluded with the powerful words destined for Maxim. Quote, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In Marcus's words, the secret to an art unknown as turning obstacles upside down, to act with a reverse clause, so there's always a way out or another route to get where you need to go, so that setbacks or problems are always expected and never permanent, making certain that what impedes us can empower us. There are a few things to keep in mind when faced with a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. We must try to be objective, to control emotions and keep an even keel, to choose to see the good in a situation, to steady our nerves, to ignore what disturbs or limits others, to place things in perspective, to revert to the present moment, to focus on what can be controlled. This is how you see opportunity within the obstacle. It does not happen on its own. It is a process, one that results from self-discipline and logic. And that logic is available to you. You just need to deploy it.